Hi everyone, welcome back to my channel. This is Maggie. I am at Dollar Tree to do another shop with me. Um, this is the one right close to my house. I could walk to it, so let's see what they've got. Okay, right immediately we've got the floral display with the fall floral, which is just gorgeous. The reds, so nice. Looks like we've got some Halloween coming in. It's just beautiful. Go make yourself a full floral display. You'll love it. This is still the back to school aisle. So what have they added here? Construction paper. The manuscript tablets. These are so great for little ones to practice. Composition notebooks. I love the patterns this year. So cute, so fun. Are these the plastic? No, those are like the laminated covers. They're not plastic, but they do have some nice colors here. Yeah, the lavender, the pink, the green. Some of these orange ones are like from last year. And then the regular black and white composition down there. count file folders and then these are the, the plastic things are getting picked over for sure and you know truthfully some things in here for back to school you cannot beat the prices here and others I know you can get them elsewhere for cheaper but it's the convenience and it's the cuteness too that you're paying for so make sure you're checking it all out. Here are the hair. These are cute five for $1.25. I don't think you'll find a better deal than Dollar Tree when it comes to hair items. I just got these for my granddaughter. Oh my, look at that. Look at that barrette. Oh, and there's a moon back there. They just really have such great on it, the velvet scunchie that's getting into the fall. Even the singular ones. There's the, the blue and the black velvet. And I think there's gray back there too. That scunchie brand. That's good. I picked up those for my granddaughter. And look at the clips. Fall colors. I love it. Look at all this name brand stuff. Good stuff. We're still seeing a good supply of the pins and pencils, colored pencils. Okay, okay. Pro marks. I have had zero issue with any of the pins. Cello or cello, however you pronounce that. Um, very smooth writing. The jot pins are good. You've got to look at the uh, 1.0 is a really nice thick um, line. 0.7 is usually. Those are good. These are the nice scented gel pens. Those are extra fun for kids. Get what they need. There's the storage so you can keep all the stuff neat. Yep. And then they still have the backpacks and the pencil boxes and of course the containers. I'm glad to still see these. These are really convenient. Comes with a spoon and a little section there for um, yogurt, you know, with cheese. Okay, I can't get it off with one hand. This comes off, this comes off. You can put your little granola here, some other things nuts, whatever you want to put on there. And then, of course, here's the little lunchbox things that you can stock up on for a little treat. The Adore brand. These are really cute. I got some of those. These are great for lockers. The Jot brand. They're all coordinating. Do you see that? These Adore pins. There's the avocado. The strawberry. The dinosaur. And I know there's a... Yep. 
there's a rainbow. Adorable. Stinking adorable. And then here are the keychains by Chatties. These are cute. pencils. This is just like a mechanical pencil when it wears down. You pull it out, push it through the top, and push the next one down. Don't lose one because then it won't work at all. And then you have the storage bins. Some of the other stuff. And then we're getting into the fall. Oh, I so love seeing the fall stuff come out. Here's the gingham pumpkins. With the orange and white gingham, the buffalo check gingham in black, and the buffalo check in blue. Fully stocked. Glad to see it. And that's a mixture. There's your beaded. These used to be bugle beads, and now it's the, they're not bugle beads, it's like that little tinsel stuff. It's still good. I have those at home. And more fall floral. some pink flowers because October is Breast Cancer Awareness Month. Can we talk about these giant pine cones? What? Look how huge those are. And there's frosted flocked ones down here. It looks like they have green and kind of a regular natural color. I've never seen that. Makes sense. Okay, on the end cap. That's beautiful. Very elegant. These are fun. I'm glad they're changing these up. And then look at these. Oh, very farmhouse. Look at that. I've seen these in some other places, but it's good to see. We have these. Now, what do you guys do with these wooden cutouts? These are so great. And look at that. These are oven safe. You can make your own individual little tarts or pies in here. I already did that one. So it looks like there's four types. Leaves are falling, autumn is calling, grateful, farm fresh fall, and happy fall. Very nice. So have these little loaf pans. Can you imagine making somebody a loaf of banana bread or zucchini bread or whatever you make, putting it in this and taking this whole thing over for them? Fall is my favorite color. So I'm seeing farm fresh picked apples, this one, and this one. I don't know if they have another. Oh, they do. A fourth one. Grateful. Dollar Tree usually does things in fours. Those are nice. Those are oven safe. Okay, and then we're getting into the, the wonderful small pumpkins. I'm going to be doing a DIY for fall because I decorate for fall September 1st. So I'll be decorating for fall very soon. And I will do a walkthrough of my, and then look up there is the ribbons. I wish they made these ribbons without 
this metallic on the side. To me, that kind of cheapens it a little bit. You know, of course, this is my absolute favorite. But um, I picked up some of these. These are great for hair bows and any other kinds of crafts. My mind goes to hair bows because that's what I make. I like making those for my granddaughter. And then here are the velvet pumpkins. I have all these colors, all of them. So fantastic. And then here's the decorative picks. This one has four, this one has five. I see there's a size difference. I will pick that up always. I'm always dropping something. This one here has two. So just decide, kind of, you see the colors and the varieties that come in. Okay. There's berry picks. And then the burlap leaves, different colors, different shapes. Oh wow, I like that pumpkin spice and everything nice. I'm not even close to that thing and it's going off. I hate stuff like that. I do. Just because it's freaky. And then these are the little things with the flowers on top. This is nice to just tuck in a corner somewhere that's just missing a little bit of a touch. Look how cute that one is. I mean, right? Cute. And then more of the same here. You know, like on a bookshelf. Oh wow, look, there's more. Hi there, pumpkin. Oh, I love it. And then they have them for Halloween. If you celebrate Halloween. cupcake wrapper that's got ghosts and tombstones on it. These are gift boxes that look, well, you can see from there what it's supposed to look like. You get two in this. Okay. The flowers, and then these are the picks. I think I saw these in the, and highlighted them at the last Dollar Tree shop with me. I did, but it's good to see that they have them too. Okay. What else do we have? Cookie cutters, socks, these silicone molds. They call these baking molds, but you could easily do chocolate in here. Get the, uh, make some filled chocolate, make your own peanut butter cup pumpkins. <laughs> you know, you could bake cakes and stuff in there too, but I like using those things for chocolate. There's table covers and then there's ornaments for the brand new Halloween trees that they have out this year. There's the knee-high socks. These are motion activated as well. The eyes glow and flash and it has that, you know, devilish laughter. And then you have these little lanterns that come in a variety of colors. There's an LED light on the inside. That's really nice. And then we're getting into the Halloween decor. These are the witch hat picks. I know there's a glare from the plastic. That's all right. These are glittery pumpkins in purple, gold with polka dots and orange. These are skulls. And more pumpkins. Spiders. These are the LED projector lanterns. That's the image that will be projected on the ceiling. My granddaughter loves these, though I'm not going to get these for her because these are on the scary side. Um, Oh, that's a night light. Glitter tea light candle. Oh, okay. I've seen someone do some things with those. This is the other lantern that has a skull projected, and I'm not going to do it. I just, you know, bedtime should be peaceful and not filled with scary images. And that's kind of neat. I did see somebody do a little DIY with theirs. Where they, and then there's one with pumpkins on it. That's cute. And then this I like. That's a cute little paint set. As is this. I like that. Then you have cats, pumpkins back there, and witch hats. Although this looks a lot like the 
the hat from Harry Potter. I think I said that last year, right? The hat that... Just me. <laughs> and then here's some other... I saw somebody do a really cute craft with this where they trace the outline of this. Although the one they had had the little ghost in the doorway here. But they traced the outline on cardstock and then they went all along here and they glued popsicle sticks going back to create dimension. So the very back is the cardstock and then you created space and you could put tea lights and stuff in there. It was amazing. It was in, I'm in the Dollar Tree um, craft group on Facebook. It's really great. Oh look, Frankenstein socks. Cute. And then the striped. Very nice. What's this? Okay, that's the uh, Day of the Dead, and then there's the Halloween picks for florals. Okay, there's more Bolero products here. It might be a good idea to grab some of these things now for um, stock and stuffers. They always have variety of products, and I absolutely love the packaging on these. What a great gift basket you could come up with finding things that all coordinate together and I've never had a problem. Ooh, mango butter and honey. Body scrub. But that's yummy. But um, I always love what they have for these. Crafting wise, it looks like we still have the same things I've seen. I'm, I'm not seeing anything new. This is that tube confetti that cover those pumpkins now and it used to be bugle beads. I have the ones with the bugle beads I bring out every year. It's good to know we have these to kind of replace any that fall off. So there's the cording. Here are the um, paper packs. I'm glad to see that those are still in stock. I remember when they first put them out, I didn't see them. They went away and I didn't see them for like a year. So it looks like they're going to keep those in stock, which is good. What are you guys using these for? I see them and I want to get them, but I just can't because I don't have a project in mind. So, you know. I'm looking for the ceramic. These are chalk riders, but I'm looking for the ceramic uh, paintbrush pins. So, there's that. These tools are all great to help you in your crafting and with your Cricut. It's nice to know they have them, and it looks like they're fully stocked with the canvas panels. I love it. Okay, we're in the book aisle, so let me see if I can find anything new. Adorable little dolls are a little on the expensive side, but okay. There we go. Oh. on bullying might be encouraging cute there's more lol it's a different one and then this is paw patrol paw patrol i just read a book on my channel my children's channel in story time with gigi a paw patrol book I've seen a few new things. So here's another one. This must be a set of books. Okay. Diversity is... Okay. And this 
must be the fourth one. Empathy. Empathy is. That's good to introduce healthy things like that to kids. Understanding of thinking of others. These books are so stinking cute. I love them. This one, Horace and Mars, but mostly Dolores. I bought that and read that on my channel. So. It's hilarious. It is really a cute story. And I don't think it's... Yep, I read that one too. It's really adorable. Mm -hmm. Book ownership, guys. I will pound it into the ground. Book ownership. Okay, this is a cute book for preteens. It's very visually pretty. And it's based on a cartoon and a set of dolls, so it's a great... Bad habits, guilt, and anxiety around food. Huh? Cold Creative Whole 30. Hmm. Hurricane Season. That's a sports book. Okay. That's the book I just saw back there. Dare to Fly. I have that book. It's good. are the journals that are really nice. Some cute stuff here. Christmas trees are making their way out. tea parties all the time with my granddaughter and her 18 inch dolls all of which I've gotten at the thrift store <laughs> there's more plushies than that they seem to have a lot of Oop, there's some Christmas ones mixed in some more bunnies See, this is what they had before, and I said, these are cute and all, but I wish they'd come up with an actual plushie. And now we have a box of them over there. 
And then these guys are cute. Maybe they'll come up with plushies of these guys next. You know? That'd be really nice. My granddaughter's been playing with her her mermaid that we got for her birthday party in the little favor bags in the bathtub, and they're actually not that bad. I mean, it's an expensive plastic, but look at these. This is the creative section where it has all kinds of projects you can do with your children slash grandchildren. Fun activities. Just me. Likes things to be a little orderly. Okay. And then here we have the accessories for the pegboard system. My husband and I are going to put up the ones I got for the shed. Um, this, uh, when it cools off a little bit more, it's been cooling off, thank God, but, um, you know, I'm waiting for the Berenstain Bears color form set to come out, because they have Arthur, they have Dinosaur Train, and they have Eleanor Wonders Why. I'm waiting for the plushies on this one to come out also. But I don't think we've seen Disney Princess, we've seen Jurassic World, we've even seen Wild Kratz, I don't know who that is, and, you know, all the others, Frozen, Minnie Mouse, Mickey Mouse, Where are the Baron, and even Buzz Lightyear. It's unfortunate that film was as bad as it was. But, um, yeah, really cute. I love how they have everything stocked. And they still have the final faction stuff. They're gonna get an influx of those at Christmas. You know they will. So we're just gonna see the toy aisle just explode. Oh, have I seen these here before? These are cute, but I, I think $1.25 for a figure that's basically not even really a, a figure they can play with and move around is a little much. This is like a 99 cent. I don't think I've seen Merida. I like using these as alternate game pieces. Like I have the chutes and ladders with Disney Princess. I like getting stuff like this to be a fill-in or an extra piece. <laughs> you know what I mean? And the Barbie too. Or I turn these into ornaments. You know, you would just hot glue them onto like a paper clip. And then, or not a paper clip, excuse me, a clothespin. One of the wooden clothespins, the regular size wooden clothespins. You could paint them or whatever at the bottom, the clothespins, I mean. But you could literally clip these onto the tree and your your child or your grandchild's favorite characters would be on the tree. I did that with the Barbie ones. It's really, she loves it. Did it with Shopkins and some other things too. There you go. Here are the calendars. These are the ones I picked up the other day that you can use as a pocket in a composition notebook journal and then these are the I don't know who knows which one is going to be the big runaway favorite this one's really nice this farmhouse one but they have so many these are really pretty yeah and then these are the kids ones do they have all these in here Looks like they do. Sesame Street, My Little Pony, PJ Masks. Yeah, it looks like they have the ones for the kids here. So you can check that out. This is nice because it's got the calendar, but it also has things down here for you to jot down notes, and they got different styles, which is really good. 
find the one that fits you. Just looking to see if there's any new candles. We've seen these before. Very nice and classic fall and Christmas. These are the, the regular luminescence. Yeah, spring rain, these, these all came out. But that's a good size candle. I don't know about the throw, I haven't used them. And then there's these, these smell so good. These really, really do well. They've knocked it out of the park with that apple cinnamon fragrance. Here's some things from Pet Products. Orbone. Some of these I heard are really good. And some you have to be careful of. You just gotta know your pet. Oh my god. Buffalo lung. I didn't know there was such a thing in a dog too. <laughs> Okay, and then they have these varieties of dog toys. I think the waste bags are a good deal. And the brushes for your dogs, your pets for supreme quality pet food. I mean, find out what daily cat treats. Okay, supporting vision and heart health. Nine Lives Plus Care. Yeah, they do have some nice things for pets. They get a stocking at Christmas too, right? I absolutely love these for our workout towels. My husband and I bring them. I grab some every single time. Yep. Grab me some of these for the kitchen sink. Okay. And then the soaps. I'm not sure how they compare in price. In the past, it was kind of like it was a dollar here, and then it was 98 cents in Walmart. Now it's a dollar 25 here, but I don't know if the prices have gone up in Walmart. So you'd have to do that comparison shopping. But I've always found it convenient to come in here and find the large bars of soap, which I'm not seeing my favorite. Oh, here, like this. These smell so good and they're so nice on your skin. I'll pay $1.25 for something that does right by my skin. <laughs> yeah, see the Olay Ultra Moisture. The shea butter, they smell good too. Mm. spotted Hanes Beyond Tights Classic Net these are the Style Essentials textured tights I got some of those these are the Silky Opaques they're non control top so understand that's what you're getting very nice get you some stuff for the fall right <laughs> I haven't seen any gold toe, but I heard that there's gold toe t-shirts. So guess what I'm on the hunt for? You got it. Those are really good quality, and it's always fun. I mean, I'm, I'm a stickler for socks. Something that's fun to wear, but also the quality of socks at Dollar Tree has really, really improved. So I'm just saying. Three pair of the Chatties legwear foot liners. Mm -hmm. Five hundred of the little silicone, not elastic. It's great. I got these, and I, this is what I use to style my granddaughter's Barbies and her other dolls. I don't like hair that's snarled and tangled up, so it winds up getting a... Oh, look. I have these. I love these. Very pretty. Look at that with the pearl. And I have it in gold also. Little girl 
Burns hairbrush. Also with trolls. And my little pony. Another color back there, too. Claw clips. I tell ya, there's nothing better than Dollar Tree when it comes to your hair stuff. Nothing better. I've still been looking, but unsuccessful in my quest to find the Honey Spa Honey Shampoo. But I've seen some other people. What's this? Leave-in conditioner. Daily Defense Coconut Oil and Vitamin E Deep Conditioner. And they have styling gels and things. I haven't found the beach hair. But I'll keep looking. And makeup and nail polish. I love the beauty aisle. Now these are cute luggage tags. section really added a lot to it and then a uh, contour stick that's a lip gloss Looking once again to see if I can find my peanut medley by this brand, Star Snacks. There's party peanuts, and you're getting, what is it, seven ounces? That's good. This is mixed nuts, which is four and a half ounces, and this is the size the party, the peanut medley comes in, and I haven't seen it in a long time. Honey roasted planters, four ounces. And then they have these bananas and apples that are freeze dried, mangoes. It's fun little snacks, things that you can grab. I love the tahini chili lime peanuts. Yummy. Corn nuts and these yums snacks. These are pecans, 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 roasted and sprinkled with black sesame and chia seeds. And then these are roasted and thinly glazed. So, and then these are banana and coconut walnuts. Jerky. I am not seeing my favorite. Can I lodge a complaint? <laughs> these harvest snaps are good too. I mean, if you're gonna, if you need to, if you feel like you need to snack, this is a good plant protein and a lot of people this is wasabi ranch, lightly salted, tomato basil. I mean, there's so many different flavors. And if you want chips, you got to go with a healthier one, right? Okay, coming down the baking aisle. I'm not sure how these compare in price to places like Walmart. But I am thrilled to see that they are increasing their decorations. Look, oops, even pure vanilla extract. I'll have to take that to the register because that's been cut open probably when they were opening the box. Um, I don't think these do that well. But look at these candy eyeballs. Look at these cute fun mixtures. Good to see that they have nice varieties of, and these are. So if you're gonna do something fun for Halloween, 
you know? Is this the one I got? I got one that was just horrendous. It tasted fine, but it was terrible. And here's the Halloween sprinkles. Okay. It's just good to see that they're providing that. There's coconut milk up there, sweetened condensed milk, coconut oil. So I'm not sure how they compare to others, but it's good to know they're here. I love picking up the four pack of Juicy Juice here, and now they have the very fine 100% vitamin C. I get these juice, it's 100% juice. I get those for my granddaughter for when she comes. I keep them in the fridge for her, it's perfect size. Y'all know that these little tabs are meant to be lifted up so the child can hold the tabs and not squeeze the box, right? Yep. I learned that. Now my granddaughter won't have her drinks any other way. So, these are cute jello snacks. I like these the little fruit cups. Tidbits. I've been on the lookout for the ceiling fan cleaner that um, goes between, you know, the blades of the ceiling fan would go between the, the, the product itself. Okay, magic eraser. Skip to the... <laughs> I did. <laughs> and I'm not seeing them. They had them in here one time and I couldn't get them. Well, I'll regret it. I'll keep looking, but I did grab some of those. Coasters. Very nice. I have these. Nice coasters. Another one of those clear glass coffee cups. I don't see them. I see all kinds of other glasses. And look at this whiskey glass. They have these, but that's not what I'm looking for. My daughter, I told you, has an espresso, and I got her some of those that I found from somewhere, but they were similar in style. She loved them. I put them in her, her Christmas Eve box. Mm, okay, I'll just keep looking. The mugs have been picking up. Here's one that says Coffee Break. This is embossed, so, you know, that's like a carved out design in there. There's cafe. Okay, cafe also has that carved. I like that. And then this one says latte. I can't tell if there's another one. I like that though, it's very, um, oh, here's another in that collection, a must have coffee. That's a nice, simple design. And I love the aesthetic. Let's see all of them. as I clank and make a noise. <laughs> That's a nice set. Get that for somebody with some coffee and something as a nice little hostess gift to someone's home. Yep, look in here to see if I missed anything. These are incredible. You get four. This will really make you feel like a chef because you measure out your, you know, tablespoon of this, teaspoon of that for a recipe. You get them all measured out in here. And then when you start putting the recipe together, it's boom, boom, boom. Most people start, as I've done myself, I'm guilty of uh, just starting the recipe without reading it thoroughly first and getting things pre-measured. I've seen people do beautiful decorative plates with these glass plates. Incredible. You could decoupage and do something. I may try that. It wouldn't be something you'd eat on, but although you could because the decoration would be on the back side. But they still have a lot of containers and different.
different jars here you could use for organizing your bathroom or the kitchen. So yeah. Okay everyone, that's it for this visit. I hope you enjoyed. I hope you're enjoying some of the things I'm finding. I hope you're finding them as well. Make sure you like and subscribe and click that notification bell. Bye until next time.